Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the dirty streets of heaven. Bobby Dollar is an angel, a real one. He knows a lot about sin, and not just in his professional capacity as an advocate for souls caught in between heaven and hell. Bobby's wrestling with a few deadly sins of his own, pride, anger, even lust. <clears throat> but his problems aren't all his fault. Bobby can't entirely trust his heavenly superiors, and he's not too sure about any of his fellow earthbound angels either. Especially the new kid that heaven has dropped into their midst, a trainee angel who asks too many questions, and he sure as hell doesn't trust the achingly gorgeous Countess of Cold Hands, a mysterious she-demon who seems to be the only one willing to tell him the truth. And when the souls of the recently departed start disappearing, catching both heaven and hell by surprise, things get very bad very quickly for Bobby D. <clears throat> End of the world bad. Beast of Revelations bad. Caught between the angry forces of hell the, and dangerous strategies of his own side and a monstrous undead avenger that wants to rip his head off and suck out his soul, Bobby is going to need all of the friends he can get in heaven, on earth, or anywhere else he can find them. If you've ever met it if you've never met an angel like you've never met an angel like Bobby Dollar, and you've never read anything like the dirty streets of heaven. Well, I haven't. Brace yourself, the afterlife is weirder than you ever believed. Well <clears throat> let's get started. Okay, first story basically is um, like it says in here, you know, when you die, you're visited by um, two people, you're by an angel advocate and a demon prosecutor, and then and a higher up angel called a principality. And when, and you know, and then after, then they uh, go over there your life and of course, and like a trial, pretty much decide whether or not you deserve to go to either heaven or hell. But then, of course, <clears throat> you know, stuff goes wrong, and, uh, and now, like they says, souls are disappearing. And you'll eventually you find out that there's actually this third area that people are starting to make. And, you know, of course, and that's where the whole story kind of goes around, where, where are all these extra souls going. There's also a few extra st other stuff, such as, like, you know, the Countess of Cold Hands, and the, the demon called a Galu, I think it's, yeah, it's what it's called, um, and um, <clears throat> there's something about a feather, this has, like, all sorts of power, it came from, like, one of the higher-up angels, uh, yeah, it's a principality, like, we lost a feather, I guess, and I guess heavenly it got it's really powerful or something. I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> but, um... Anyway, um... You know, story I find is really great. Lots of cool action. <clears throat> Lots of cool stuff going down. And then, of course, there's the... And of, then there's the characters that are interesting as well. You know, first is the protagonist, Bobby Dollar which is a stupid name, I'm just going to call him Dolorius, you know, because they all have, like, their own heavenly names and earthly names. <clears throat> and, um, you know, the Countess of Cold Hands' name is actually Casmira, or Casmira, or is it Casimira? No, I, I'm going to assume the first I is silent. Let's say it's Casmira. Then there's Elagor, there's Prince Citri, uh, Samuel, the new kid that's mentioned here. His name's Harael, or, but he, his earth name is Harrison, but everyone just gives him the nickname Clarence because he's the new guy. He's like in training, hasn't really earned his wings yet. You know, and um, <clears throat> and uh, I find it really interesting like, not only all the characters you know, and how they bounce off each other, but overall just everything's interesting here. In here, you know uh, how the how heaven and hell work. Um, 
They explain the whole, the origin of this whole trial system that they use. They explain, um, you know, most of the politics and stuff that goes around in between heaven and hell. You know, um, having the difficulty of dealing with, you know, the, pe the, re the, the deceased. You know, like some people will kind of accept it quickly. Some people will deny it and try and run away. And then, of course, there's the difficulty because, actually, even, uh, actually, that's not, I should probably, there's actually three places already, is technically there's a fourth, but um, there's a heaven, hell, and if the angel can't get you into heaven, then maybe he can at least try and get you into purgatory, where you can work your way into heaven. <clears throat> probably should have said that sooner. But, um... You know, yeah, like, um, you know, souls are beginning to disappear, and I think it's really interesting, you know, hearing the, um, yeah, like, it's just a really interesting, great book, which I really enjoyed, and definitely recommend. My per I give this my personal rating of 5 out of 5. I loved it, you know, characters were great, story was great, setting was great, it was just overall great. <clears throat> check it out buy it read it yeah anyway till next time see you later and have a nice day